In this video we're going to take a look at the use of the rate function in Excel. The rate function is used to determine the interest rate that you would be required to have in order to reach a given investment goal. And remember the rate in every one of these problems is the rate per period, it's not the annual rate. So what you'll have to do when you get all done is you'll have to multiply the rate per period by the number of periods and that will give you the annual rate. So in this problem this is a savings problem and we're going to start with 20,000 and um, we're going to save 200 a month and we're going to do that at the end of every month which is a zero and our goal is um, to have $500,000 that would be the future value and um, we're going to do this uh, monthly, so we're going to have 12 periods per year, and we're going to do this for 25 years. Okay. Uh, the number of periods should be the periods per year times the number of years. So now that we've filled in all the values, all we have to do is use the rate function to figure out what the rate per period is going to be. So let's go to our formulas tab again. Go to financial, scroll down to the R's, and there's the rate function. Number of periods we've computed. The payment is always a negative number. It's going to be 200. The present value is, and this is a savings problem, so this is the sum of a bunch of payments we've already made and the future value is my goal which is 500,000 and the type is this and click on OK and it gives me the rate per period which is eight tenths of a percent but what I really want is I want to know what kind of annual rate is that going to be and it's going to be this number times the number of periods per year don't just put 12 in put this value over here in case it ever changes and hit the enter key and it looks like we need just about a rate of 10% uh, in order to reach that goal with those payments in that period of time. 